Blockest is a new decentralized solution to one of the biggest internet problems. Streaming makes up over 80% of all internet traffic, but current networks weren't built for this. Blockest solves this by doing something totally different. In this video I'll explain what Blockest is and how it works and then I'll show you how to set up your own node and start contributing. So let's dive in. Blockest is a decentralized network that helps deliver video and other content more efficiently. Instead of relying on expensive centralized servers like traditional content delivery networks, Blockest lets everyday people run nodes and help distribute content. And the best part, we can get rewarded for it. Blockest uses a smarter way to deliver content. Instead of sending a separate video stream to every viewer, it shares the stream between users. It's called multicast and it means that one video can be delivered to thousands of people at the same time without putting stress on one server. For Blockest to work there are three different types of nodes. There are beacon relay and cast nodes. Beacon nodes monitor network health and verify participation. This is the node I'll show you how to set up in this video. Then there are relay nodes, they help to distribute content by sharing bandwidth locally. And finally, cast nodes are high performance servers that deliver content to thousands of users. If you are interested in seeing a more detailed guide on how everything works, I recommend you to check the official documents. And now I'll show you how to set up a beacon node. It's free and also very simple. As always, the first step is creating an account. I will leave the link in the description. You can also use my referral code that will get me a small bonus. So thank you very much if you do so. After you create your account, you will need to go into the profile settings and connect a wallet. I used Phantom to connect the wallet. The first time it didn't work, I just had to use a different browser and then the connection was successful. Before you start running your beacon node, it's important to make sure that you have downloaded and installed Docker. It's very simple to install and of course it's completely free. I will leave the link in the description. The first step is to retrieve the Blockcast beacon manifest. There are three different options to complete this first step, but I will choose to just download from GitHub. You just need to go to the official Blockcast documents and then enter GitHub and you will see a file named Docker Compose, that's the file you need to download to your computer. After you download this file, you will need to create a new folder on the home screen. You can name it anything you want. It's important that you place the file inside the folder. You just need to open the folder you have just created with the file inside, of course. On the top, you will see the path of the file. You just need to double press, delete the text that's there and write CMD. And then you can just press enter. Once the console is open, you will need to run this command, docker compose up. You will need to wait a few seconds for the setup to complete, and then you can verify everything is up and healthy with the docker compose ps command. If everything is fine, you should see something like this. Now you will need to generate your hardware ID and the challenge key. For that, you will need to enter this command on the console. Just type it in and press enter like always and after a few seconds it will give you the hardware ID and the challenge key. It's important that you store these values. Now you can go back to the Blockcast dashboard. On the left of the display you will see the manage nodes button where you can see your nodes. You can press the button on the right that says register node. The website will ask you to share your location, but if you prefer, you can just enter the location manually. Here, you will also need to enter your hardware ID and the challenge key. If you want, you can also change the name of your device. After you enter all the information, you can just press register node. It's important to note that it might take a few minutes for the node to show as online. You'll be able to see your points on the main page of the dashboard. This is still very early, so it might take some time for the points to appear on the dashboard. You just need to be patient and keep the node running. If you need help, leave a comment or send me a message. For today, that was the video. Thank you a lot for watching and see you next time.